2019 has been a disappointing year given that 2018 had some records in it. We had more timber hauled and reported for severance tax in 2018 than we've ever had. And that means markets are good. Well, not so much here in 2019. It's less timber hauled. There's been an announcement of a curtailment at one mill in El Dorado. The even bigger news is a curtailment of all raw material buying at the paper mill in Crossit, the Georgia Pacific paper mill in Crossit, shutting down later on this year. That is a huge blow to forest landowners in Arkansas to be able to move those smaller diameter pine trees generally, and it will affect hardwood pulpwood as well. So smaller diameter pine pulpwood is going to be, it's already very hard to move today in Arkansas. And that's, we've got over 4 million acres of pine plantations in central and south Arkansas. So it's a, it's a big deal. What's happened in the last few years is that was done in anticipation of a large and continuing growth in the housing market. So in, 19, in 2009, we were at about 500,000 homing starts a year, and we were expecting to be at about 1.5 million this year. That hasn't happened. This year we've seen some slowdown, largely due to weather, uh, particularly in the southern United States. So we've only, we're only expecting to be at about 1.2 million housing starts. So this industry expansion with all of these sawmills basically ran into a little hiccup. And we're waiting for, you know, you know the, the, the supply basically on the lumber side exceeded the demand. A year and a half ago, we were looking at lumber prices of about $400 per thousand. Now we're back down to around $250 a thousand. So we've seen that reduction in price. And that's caused some of these new expansions. For example, the, the El Dorado mill, uh, they have basically have shut down temporarily. I would expect that we're going to see this as the housing market continues to recover. As we approach that 1.5 to 1.6 million housing starts a year, we'll see our, our lumber industry pick up. The hardwood and the pine markets, whether it's pulpwood or saw timber, is very cyclical. But it's also mill specific, meaning the mills have their own drain area for raw materials. And if one mill shuts down, like in Ashley County, it can affect lots of landowners for several counties out, probably 50 miles out at least. There's hope but there's gonna be cycles and we're in a down cycle, but I do not think we're looking at a recession uh, in the housing market or anywhere else, but I, we're looking for some downtime, uh, literally at some mills and figuratively in the prices going down uh, for our markets for, for some little time. I'm, I hope that it's shorter than two years. And when you look at Arkansas's economy and its dependence on forest industry, we are the number three most dependent forest industry in the nation behind only Maine and Wisconsin. And of the 13 southern states, we are the most dependent state on forest economy. So we're looking at about some 60,000 jobs total contribution. We're looking at average salaries that, that are about $55,000 a year, which is above the state average. So these are good paying jobs in rural communities that support uh, a lot of retail, a lot of doctors and dentist offices, they provide a lot of options uh, for people in rural Arkansas that wouldn't exist otherwise. Well, we've built beautiful, productive forests in Arkansas. 1978, we had 17.8 million acres of forest land. Today, we have 19 million acres of forest land. We have built more forests in these last 50 or 40 years, and we're growing more wood than these really fast, some people call them hot rod sawmills, can cut. So I believe because we've built it and others will see that we're growing way more high quality timber than we're sawing or cutting, they'll come. Markets will come. We're gonna to have to be patient, but markets will come.